All right, today I'm going to do a quick video on what I call my little modified uh, Black Cat JB200. Also called, also known as the JB76. Uh, Black Cat just changed the numbers. The earlier uh, models were called uh, JB200. Uh, earliest is the A, and then they came out with the JB200B for bass. And they also made a... Uh, one with the same kind of control head but a mobile power supply to JB200M um, 28417 tubes some of them use 7581 tubes this one has 28417 tubes in it and I modified it a little bit uh, normally they only have uh, one adjustment a load adjustment um, over there and it doesn't have a knob on it you need a screwdriver to change it and the uh, tune like you would tune a, no, a normal amp with tune and load is normally fixed on most black cat amps and including some of the JB 2000s the tune uh, cap is there but it's fixed and all I did was uh, get a variable cap uh, about the same capacitance and um, replace the fixed cap with a variable with the stem and a knob and put a a longer stem and a knob on the load so now I got tune and load just like you would uh, most normal amps and uh, the other mod is this little guy right there is actually a five position switch and it goes to the bias uh, changes to dead key levels normally on a black cat amp uh, you change the dead key by varying the input tuner in the back and what that does the input tuning takes uh, all the watts or some of them uh, to a lesser degree to get the dry level right but what happens is um, when it backs down the watts it raises the input SWR going from your uh, uh, radio into the amp which is not a good thing so that's how the uh, input tuning works on the black hat normally so what I did with the variable bias now is that I uh, tune the input for the lowest SWR and adjust the bias for the uh, amount of dead key watts that I wanted to do so I think it works better makes it cleaner um, better for the radio better for everything I hooked up a little 4 watt radio uh, regular uh, little output 4 watt output radio to go into this I didn't want to use the uh, big connex because it uh, swings to too many watts to dry the little black hat so right now we got the radio going into the amp and uh, this watt meter here that says radio is the hooked in between the radio and the amp and then this watt meter here which is on a 100 watt scale these are uh, RMS reading um, watt meters also is after the amp. The amp's on standby right now on a 10 watt scale on the radio one and you can see we're doing uh, 3 watts into the uh, amp with the amp off and then after it all all this it goes uh, into a dummy load so now we got the amp on and we're gonna put the input of the uh, this watt meter is an automatic SWR watt meter which is why I like these watt meters because uh, you don't have to calibrate or do anything for the SWR you just put it on SWR and uh, it automatically calibrates it yourself makes it easy to work with look at and tune because uh, when you're tuning the radio or the input tuner um, because you don't have to calibrate the watt meter so now we got to key up the uh, amp and we are on SWR that's the input SWR of the amp uh, at a study uh, 1.2 audio right now we got that uh, bias set so uh, you hardly did can anything over here on the 100 watt scale audio audio we're keying about two or three watts and swinging to about 20 and we got to turn the uh, bias up a couple knots and right there we did can uh, about 25 or so and hello 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 Swinging to about 80 on this watt meter, about average. Uh, there's your input SWR right there. At about a 1.2. There we go. 
I have to work the mic and the camera and everything else at the same time. Hello, hello, hello. Audio. Hello. And actually, it's probably swinging to about 150 peak. Hello. Actually, we got the uh, great big uh, bird or coaxial dynamics in line right there. Uh, using two meters. This uh, meter here, dual meter, is on peak and it has a 250 watt slug in it on peak and that's the swing on a bird meter calibrated slug peak. Hello, 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 hello. So it's actually doing about, uh, about 225 peak. Audio. Audio. And this is what it looks like on average. Hello, 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 hello. Same slug. That's the difference between average and peak. Hello, talking about a hundred average and hello, 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 about 250 peak. Hello, 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 and that's birds watts into a dummy load, mind you, which is real watts. So that's gonna be it of this uh, modified tunable tune and load with the bias adjustment. Real good input SWR JB200. Bye.